So here we are, it's October 12th, year 2023. And today we are doing an anniversary video for the crash that changed my life. That happened all the way back in 2016 on this very day. That day completely changed everything for me. My life as I knew it was never gonna be the same. And for all of you that don't really know who I am, my name is Scotty Kramer. I am a professional BMX rider and now a very amateur walker, but I'm saying that with a smile on my face because I had an amazing career riding my bike where I did more things than I ever dreamed of possible. I invented tricks. I ended up winning the X Games three times. I got a total of nine X Games medals. I got to tour around the world. I got to live a dream of riding BMX professionally. And I'm just grateful to have been able to experience that life. But the truth is on October 12th in 2016, that all got taken away from me for the most part. I mean, I'm not able to ride my BMX anymore. My body does not work like it used to, but I am able to stand up here and do this interview and I'm able to hold my camera every single day and film videos for you. I'm able to announce the X Games. I'm able to go out and enjoy myself by riding my bike and be able to drive a car and to be able to spend time with family and friends. Like life is not bad. I'm going to start this video out by explaining that. I am not angry about what happened. Yes, it kind of sucks that it did happen, but at the end of it, I have a great life and I'm very blessed to be in the position that I am right now. And I know that things could have been so much worse for me. I now have a plastic forehead. Like literally, they removed my forehead and replaced it with plastic because I had three brain bleeds from the crash. I also had to get surgery on my spinal cord, not only on the front of my neck here when I damaged my C2 and C3, but also on the back of my neck where they actually fused together my six and seven. I had a terrible crash over a stupid trick as well. Something that just snuck up on me out of nowhere. After I landed the trick, actually, it happened to me. It wasn't like I was out, you know, defying the laws of gravity and doing all this crazy stuff. No, it was me filming a YouTube video for my channel and things went terribly wrong. And I am just grateful to say that here I am, still alive, still with a smile on my face, and I'm still doing my best to enjoy myself, not only off the bike, but also on the bike. But this time around, I do it within my own means. You guys might have seen the video I just did last week of me doing the bunny hop over the top of that parking block. That was so huge for me and I am so proud of that. But the truth is, that was a joke for me seven years ago. But it's crazy how your perspective changes when something like this happens. I'm just grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for every experience that I get to have, especially with my wife, with my family, with my friends. And a lot of you aren't going to be able to appreciate life the way that I do. And that's terrible to say for you, but at the same time, you need a life-changing event for you to really appreciate it. And my perspective has completely changed on life. So it's not like this crash absolutely took everything from me. It actually gave me things at the same time. But here we are back at the skate park seven years later. I have my BMX bike and I'm going to challenge myself to do something that I've been eyeing up here for, I mean, since the day I moved here, I've been wanting to do this. Me and Maddie have been talking about it. And today is the day where I am motivating myself to step up to get this done. And I'm going to be filming it for you. And I'd be lying if I said that I wasn't nervous right now, but I know I'm capable of doing this. I know that if I do everything the right way, I'm gonna be able to land this. And what we're gonna be doing is riding up that ramp directly behind me. I'm gonna get on top of that, get on top of that rolling, drop in that rolling, go over the box jump over here, ride completely over it, and that will be it for me today. This is something I've been wanting to do and I am super nervous about because of a couple different reasons. I mean, if you all think back to the last time I was at Woodward, when I went down the big roll in there and hit the box jump, if that wasn't in the foam pit, I would be in serious trouble. I probably wouldn't be making this video right now. So I'm going to take this serious today and I have complete respect for what I'm about to do, but I know I am fully capable of doing this. I know I have the ability to do this. And I'm grateful to say that seven years later, I am here and I am ready to do this, but I'm gonna push myself today and I'm gonna bring you all along for the journey. So let's do this right now. So the worst part about this for me is me being scared of falling off the side of it. Like if I get too much speed, like I was saying about what happened in lot eight and I get loose and I get crazy and I fall off the side of this, that is my biggest fear. So these guys are all gonna help me out today and uh, I'm very appreciative of it. So the whole goal is just, uh, if I'm coming off, just, just soften the blow. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. So Maddie's actually gonna be following me up uh, the ramp and follow me along for it with the GoPro. This is gonna be pretty cool. Let's get this going. All right. It's go time. I am freaking nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to turn around to the left. And we're going to do this. 
Here we go, guys. Oh yeah, I am so nervous. I gotta get nice and smooth right here. This is crucial. All right, did that. Matt, you're already, look at that. I, I did it, I did it. So good already. Happened fast. Gotta do my bike up here on my own. I would like to get up this, but I'll run into that railing. There's no doubt about it. So this is part of it. Do it all myself. So cool. Okay, momentum, momentum. Woo! All right, guys, here we go. This is the grand finale. We're at the we're at the halfway checkpoint. We will not do lot eight today. Absolutely not. We're gonna be nice and control. All right, just gotta clip in. It's taking me a while to find my feet. Okay, I'm going. Here we go. Oh man, I've been wanting to do this for a while. But I'm terrified. Ooh. Yeah. Heck yeah. Ah. yeah! Oh man! Oh crap! That was awesome! That was freaking awesome. I'm so amped up right now. I'm like shaking, not just because my muscles are all messed up. Like I'm just shaking, shaking. But oh, that felt so cool, but terrifying at the same exact time. I just want to thank these guys too for uh, being there. I'm glad that you guys weren't needed today. <laughs> I said it earlier, man, it, a lot has changed, but at the same time, my love for this BMX bike, it's, it's been the same. That has always been the same. And the fact that I have this awesome titanium BMX bike and I can still come out here and push myself and experience that feeling of doing tricks on BMX bike, even though it's a fraction, not even a fraction of what I used to be able to do, but man, in my heart, I am just so proud of that right there. And I'm just so grateful to be in the position I am right now. I really am. So I just want to thank uh, my sponsors, Monster Energy and Vans for sticking by me and just keeping me involved and let me be a part of the sport still. I'm so grateful for it and it means the world to me. And I also want to thank every single one of you that subscribed to the channel, everybody that bought Can't Slow Down stuff, every single one of you that just watch the videos all the time, that come up to me and talk to me and be so nice when I see you guys in person. Like, thank you guys so much. I tell you what, you have no idea how much of a role you guys have played to get me in the position I am to be able to live life like this again. So thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, on to the next year. We're just going to keep on working and keep on enjoying life. And I hope that you guys do the same. We'll see you guys then. Peace. Now, if any of you are interested in learning more about the early starts of my BMX career and pretty much how I got to this point in my life, you can go and check out the video that Vans BMX did about me called Whirlwind. Now, I'm going to be playing the intro to the video here. If you want to check it out, go check out the link in the description or click right here. He's going to do something. He goes all out. That progression changed everything because it was further than what anyone else had done. What I really loved was the constant challenge to be my best. He was the first big name established pro to do the YouTube thing. I love this. This is the kind of stuff I live for. Trying to outdo myself from the day before. It was really hard. I got it here. I just get, get, get it. It was like my worst nightmare coming true. It really was. I actually had the worst crash of my life. We knew he was going to progress because he's Scotty. I'm just excited about the future, I really am. I just decide to keep pushing.